I made this on the show a couple of times and the judges absolutely loved it. And look, on MasterChef, the judges always said, keep it simple, don't use too many ingredients. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna add as many ingredients as I can because there's less chance of things not tasting bad. So the more I put into it, the better it's gonna taste. So just like myself, I'm an eclectic mix. Consider myself a bit of a mongrel. This is what this curry is. It's probably all parts of India thrown into one. So I've got tomatoes, coriander, chilies. And I've got some galangal, got some ginger, garlic, also some red onions. In India, we always have red onions. Let's get cracking. First things first, I've got to start processing up everything. And this really just makes things a hell of a lot easier. It just chops everything up. You don't need to process your stuff before you do it. And to be honest with you, if you don't have a food processor at home, don't even bother. Just come straight to the restaurant and try the crab curry there. And one other thing is, is that you've always got to cook up your curry leaves. But what I do now is just throw them straight in there, adds that extra taste, and then I add them in later as well. It's time to put some coriander, and the most important part about the coriander is the root. That's where all the flavor is. So cut that up with your hands, throw it straight in. This is the chilies. And all you've got to do is just snap it in half, throw them straight in there. We're going to put about five or six in there just to make it a little bit spicier. Got the ginger, the garlic, the galangal. This really smells like my mum's house in here. Where was this on MasterChef? I would have saved myself at least half an hour whilst I was cooking. So, time to throw a little bit of liquid in. We're gonna need a little bit of this liquid later on for cooking. We wanna have everything uniform. It's time to temp the spices. We've gotta make sure we've got a really hot wok. Because what we're gonna be putting in is some red chilies, cinnamon quills, green cardamom, brown cardamom. And we've gotta make sure it gets it really hot so it releases all the oils. So, off with the lid and just throw it straight in and away we go. Got the spices tempering away. It's time to add the curry paste. So out of the food processor, yeah, that's perfect. That's the consistency you want for a curry paste. But straight into the wok, we're gonna fry that off for about two or three minutes. You know, you, you gauge, but you only need about, about a cup and a half of the curry paste. And now it's time to add the spice mix. And this is Jimmy's special spice mix. It's got a few traditional spices in there, but there's also a couple of other ingredients. What you've got to do is just throw a little bit of water in there, because you're putting it into a hot wok. You don't want to burn the spices. So just make another form of a paste. So eight tablespoons, one, two, three, four, that's about eight, so mix it in there. So just by looking at that, it's gone this nice deep red color, and the worst thing you can do is not have cooked spices, so let's cook that off for another three minutes. So the curry sauce has been cooking for about five minutes now, and the spices and the paste have turned this beautiful caramel golden brown. So what I'm gonna do is add some fish stock. Because we're cooking a seafood curry today, it just adds that extra element to the dish. So just pour a little bit of that in and just let that simmer away. It's gonna take another two or three minutes, and now, fresh curry leaves. I've got that straight off the tree, and all you gotta do is just get one sort of stem of that and just throw it straight in there. And I don't put them in at the start, because if you burn it, it actually adds a different taste. Okay, that's slowly reducing. It's time to add a little bit of salt. I've got some lovely sea salt here, about sort of five to eight grams of salt. It's time to add the coconut milk and coconut cream in equal quantities. So I've got about 200 mils in there, so that's gonna cook away. For another, say, three to four minutes, it's time to cut up the crabs. You just go down to your local fishmonger and ask him to chop them up for you. It's a lot easier. So throw that in, straight to the wok, hit it up to about a medium-high heat, lid back on, chilli crabs ready. Final part, never my strength, plating up, but who cares when it tastes this good. Put a sauce onto the top. I really feel like I'm in one of those challenges again. Some chopped coriander. Just when you thought you had enough, some red chilies on top, a few curry leaves. And don't forget, just to finish, where's your lemon? My chili crab, done.